This is the final day of the World Economic Forum in Davos, where leaders gather once a year to try and solve the world's most pressing problems. But the founder of Microsoft, Bill Gates, is basically spending every waking minute of his day doing just that through his Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. He joins us now. Good to see you. You just landed last night, but on the first day of the forum this year, Oxfam, I don't know if you heard about this, came out with a, a rather stunning report that said that 62 people on the whole planet have as much wealth as the poorest half of the world's population. I'm kind of figuring you're one of the 62 because they're talking about the, the wealthiest here. What must you have thought of that statistic? Well, they may count me, but it's kind of strange in a way because all my wealth is going back uh, to help the poorest in the best way that we can. Uh, you know, no doubt, uh, if we take the wealth that the world has broadly and we apply it to innovation, we can take things like childhood death, which we cut in half uh, in the last 25 years and cut in half again in the next 15 years. So, you know, although, you know, it's good for people to look at that and think about tax policies, uh, income tax, estate tax, and all those things, we are improving lives worldwide. People shouldn't get the impression that inequality necessarily means that the world isn't improving. Is there one step we should be taking, at least in the U.S., that we're not right now? Well, everyone uh, has the view of uh, you have to help people broadly, so there's the size of the safety net, and how do you structure that in a way so that you're not slowing down the, the, the economy that creates the jobs and does those things right. And there's probably more division about how to strike that balance than there's, there's ever been. Fortunately, the U.S. economy is actually doing fairly well. Unemployment's down quite a bit. And if you look at leadership in things like IT, uh, biology, uh, the strength of the U.S. is the, the envy of the world. Yeah, some people would take uh, umbrage at, at the, the statement that the U.S. economy is doing well because it's been slow 2% growth, 3% growth for several years now. Does that concern you at all? You know, when you're, when you're as rich as the United States is, those are very uh, amazing growth rates. And there's a ton of I innovation that's never captured in those growth rates. You know, when you look at, okay, how do people do music today versus how they used to, how do they communicate, how do scientists share information, you're not going to see in a growth figure how things have improved there. Well, you talk about innovation. The Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation spending a lot all the time, and much of it is on vaccines and biotech. Look, we constantly hear this clarion call, cancer, we're going to beat you. You're investing in what could maybe be the holy grail. It's actually a company called Grail that's a liquid biopsy that scans people's bloodstreams for cancer, or at least early signs of it. Could that be the cure, that sort of moonshot that people talk about? Well, cancer rates have come down, and there's you know, great new cancer therapies. One of the key things has always been early detection. And for many cancers, it's very hard to do. The idea of this company is that by looking in the blood, they'll see little fragments of DNA uh, and be able to, to, to start treatment at a stage where uh, the success rates are very, very high. So yes, this is a neat new company. Uh, it's you know, one that I, I think is exciting. There's a lot of those uh, coming along. Uh, that this, this is one of the best.